Hey there folks and welcome back to the IMCDB project. I'm your host CDB and you're not and um, this of course is Lexi. She hasn't left my side since I've returned from New Jersey so she's missed me. She won't even leave the bathroom so I'll put her down here uh, in just a moment. Anyway, um, today we're going to do a shaving video with, uh, what are we going to use? Katie's Bubbles. Uh, Bailey's Irish Coffee, one of the greatest soaps ever made, if not the greatest soap ever made. Let me put Lexi down just a moment. All right, so we're back, and uh, again, this was when the label was great, not just good. See, Bailey's Irish Coffee, good stuff. <sighs> Wonderful scent. So anyway, also, we're going to use the um, Fine Aluminum Slant Prototype, which uh, Mr. Fine sent for me to... Uh, try out and it is a little heavier than the last um, and again it's prototype so if it doesn't go well you know it's still a work in progress it looks really nice I'll tell you that if you remember he had the uh, the plastic ish one I don't remember what material it was made from it was very very light this one's a little heavier but not tremendously so and we're going to use this big Razor Rock F400 which is like mammoth I mean it, it is huge um, absolutely a monster and the inspector uh, gave it to me when I was up there visiting in New Jersey uh, let me wet the face and we'll get right to it stay tuned so I got just got back from uh, New Jersey yesterday where I visited with uh, the inspector David Fernicola and his uh, lovely girlfriend Laura who were just tremendous hosts I must say so thank you very much uh, David and Laura, they were wonderful, wonderful hosts. Uh, spent a couple of days up there with friends. Had the chance to visit with uh, Peter uh, Charcalis and Dan Mastronardi and Chris Cullen. Of course, you know, the inspector. Boy, this, if you think I get messy uh, normally, when I use this one, I really get lather all over <laughs> lovely place. Anyway, we had a wonderful time. It was just absolutely tremendous. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it and again mu much appreciation to Inspector and Laura who were just wonderful hosts. Okay, as you can see this brush will just produce a crazy volume of lather. And so let's see how we do with our uh, fine slant prototype. And that feels pretty good. Um, one of the things I think people may have not liked about the first Fine Slant was it it was uh, extremely light so that made them feel like they had to put a bunch of pressure on it and you really don't. Even this one that is light, um, you don't really need to use a bunch of pressure and Mr. Fine, and his real name is Todd but I'll just call him Mr. Fine advised me not to use an aggressive blade. So I just threw a derby in here, which is good for a shave or two. And so far that feels pretty nice, I have to say. Although I didn't mind the first one. I thought the, the first one was uh, deceivingly efficient. If you would have held on to it, you wouldn't have thought, you know, by the weight it would be very efficient. But it was, and uh, that was actually a, quite a good pass. Stay tuned, we'll come back for pass two. I really love this brush for um, using on my head because it covers a lot of ground very, very quickly. I mean, it is a horse of a brush. I haven't seen what uh, Joe's put out since I've been on hiatus, but I'll be looking. Uh, the inspector did show me his version 2 Hawk, and boy, that looks nice. I'm going to have to get uh, one of those. He really did a great job on that, and I'm sure I'll enjoy that when I get to it. And I'll be making more shaving videos regularly regularly, and other videos. And people ask why I always change things around. I think this is the final change in terms of channel. I had, you know, of course, TSE and I lather. I, I've been striving to simplify things. And as it turns out, the simplest things is just to go with IMCDB and leave it there and put all the content there. Um, and we'll just go with that. And I apologize for the confusion it creates. Um, but, you know, I have different ideas, and I just tried, and that feels quite good, I must say. My first shave, I used a feather with it, 
but uh, it wasn't a fresh feather and it was a little on the rough side, but uh, this one is feeling pretty good. I have to say, no problems at all. Feels quite good. No need to use pressure with this gun. It feels like it's doing a good job with just very a light hand. No problems at all. And it's feeling pretty good. You can feel the blade. I wouldn't call it all overly aggressive, but it feels fairly efficient. But I'm not getting any, you know, too much blade or certainly not too rough. And of course, the soap is fantastic, as you know. Uh, so far, really, really nice. Stay tuned. We'll come back for pass two. All right, and here we go. Pass number three. Everything is has gone very, very nicely thus far, which is really no surprise. No surprise at all. Soap, brush, razor working together just beautifully. And uh, I'll be posting some video from the New Jersey trip. Probably I'll post this one first, and then, even though it's out of order per se. I'll be posting a little video from that as time permits, so give it a look if you want, and if not, don't. It's no biggie to me either way. Um, boy, what a horse of a brush. I look forward to trying that Hawk too, and also Chris's wares and Chris Cullen, that is, whatever he's put out, and of course, Charky. I think he's getting ready to change up the shaving shop and combine into one or something like that. I don't know. No, I, I recall him talking about it, but I don't recall the details, and he's a guy I like to support, along with, of course, Chris Cullen, and a lot of other vendors, quite frankly. Rod from Sterling. I mean, I can, I'll can i forget folks if I start naming, so I won't go on a naming frenzy here, but a lot of uh, good folks that I like to support, and uh, it was nice to see those guys again. It, it had been the first time I met Dan and Charky, um, and uh, what wonderful guys they are. I have to say, it was... Uh, really a pleasure and uh, I consider them to be friends uh, and of course you know it goes without saying Chris Cullen and uh, the inspector as well we really had an excellent time just shooting the breeze and you know we didn't talk shop the whole time there's other things other than shaving hobby believe it or not so we talked about a lot of different things and just enjoyed had some beer and some grub and uh, just had a wonderful time. I must say, this razor has um, it's done a good job and it feels to me like an improvement um, over the first version. The inspector had also used it and he told me he felt it was quite an improvement. And uh, I actually got a very nice shave out of that with the derby. So let me rinse my face. We'll come back and do the post. Stay tuned. All right, and here we are with the Magic Made by Witches, Thayer's, which, you know, of course, I love and use all the time. Dan, Master Nardi, tells me he prefers Humphreys. That sounds like heresy to me, but uh, I'll try it. If Dan likes it that much, and, you know, I certainly respect Dan. It's my first time meeting him, meeting him but I've always thought him to be a very level-headed and nice fellow. If he likes Humphreys that much, I'll give it a shot, but I don't think I'll ever abandon my beloved Thayer's. Um, before we get to the aftershave, again, quick review of the gear. Bailey's Irish Coffee, which is hard to see in this light. Fantastic, as always. Chris Cullen soaps are just wonderful. Top of the line. Um, it doesn't get much better. The Fine Slant, I had a very good go with it uh, today. And again, the inspector used it. He liked it. I'd say it's definitely an improvement over the first. I don't know how much the geometry has changed, but I think it has perhaps a little at least. Um, it felt efficient, um, but not too efficient. And again, if you get one, no need to use a lot of pressure. But this is a prototype, so probably be a while for it before it comes out. But I did enjoy it, and that's uh, I've used it, I think, three times. First time was a little rough. The second two times have gotten much better that I changed blades. It might be one of those razors you have to be careful with your blade with. Today we're going to use a little LMR, even though it's not the, doesn't match the uh, Irish coffee, but you know me, I'm inappropriate that way. 
I just use whatever strikes my fancy after shave eyes. And that smells wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Chris had also brought a prototype of a uh, aftershave he's making. Boy, did that smell good. Can't talk about it, but woo-wee, I'm going to buy that one. All right, so that is it for this video. Lexi's down there looking at me. Again, thanks uh, to the folks who met up with us in New Jersey. Uh, special thanks to Laura, who put up with all of us testosterone-laden men ranting and raving in her home. Uh, thank you, Inspector. And thanks, everybody, for watching once again. Until next time, let's help make the entire world shape great once again.